Hello everyone, this is Defiling Soul, and today I bring you the Thanatos build tutorial. And by that I mean um, it's mostly a concept tutorial, so I'm not done tinkering with this um, core. And that being said, I'm just going to teach you how to the basics of building this to get yourself a functional one which you could actually tinker around with and improve yourself because as the old adage says uh, teach a man a fish he eats for a lifetime give a man a fish uh, he gets diarrhea because you think it's funny so let's get this done alright now there seems to be a placing glitch with the megas that sometimes it doesn't let you place them. Let's see, and in order to fix it, you, you just have to move the bot up or down and try to place them again. Oh, there it is. See, freaking weird for some reason, but yeah. There. All right, Robocraft. But yeah, I'm gonna start out with uh, two rotors flipped upside down on each other, so you could place the guns like so. And what you wanna do? Is place some 10.1s right here, and. Make some paths to the core. Like so. Mm. It should be like so. It and this should be like so. Now we want to mirror that on the top. These should be your most important connections. And by that, I mean the way that Robocraft damage works is actually block by block. Most people think that it, it uh, usually hits something and it's distribute the uh, it's made evenly the damage across so if this gets destroyed uh, the damage gets split up in between these but the way it actually works is once this gets destroyed it has to choose one single block in order to apply the rest of the damage to so it chooses a random block that it it was connected from the block that was destroyed so it either chooses this one this one, this one, or this one. One and uh, it keeps going that way to all the attached blocks uh, once all the damage is spread. So the way this works is uh, since guns transfer, uh, I believe Megas actually transfer almost 70% of the incoming damage depending if it's a rail or plasma into its connecting blocks. So if this gets hit, it has a 1 in 3 chance of choosing this one, this one, or this one, which is your best case scenario. 
and if it chooses that, this will usually absorb all the damage that uh, the gun takes. And if it chooses this one, it might actually destroy it, then it has to choose one of these two. And the worst case scenario would be that it chooses this one, destroys it, or choose it, chooses this one, destroys it, and then it jumps into either one of these two, therefore killing the gun. And that is your worst case scenario, since you would lose both the rotor and the gun. But that is actually kind of rare. Now the second thing you want to do is actually split up the pilot seat into two sections that do not connect to each other. And the reason you want to do this is to prevent another worst case scenario in which a rail actually bypasses all your uh, rotor defenses, all your gun defenses, and hits the core directly, and somehow reaches the pilot seat, and it basically takes out this whole chunk, and if you had it connected, it might actually take this whole chunk, killing you in the process. Now if it's not connected, it only severs these, which are connected to the rotors, and since the rotors are actually connected to the gun, which are in turn connected to this section, the bot usually survives with most of its guns and movement parts. And that is the basics of this bot. Now let's add a little bit more DPS to it. And the way you place the T10 guns is one, two, three blocks here, one, two, three here. Curve right there, there. Mirrored on the bottom. And that's basically it. Now you can tinker around with this until you're actually satisfied, not getting uh, completely wrecked if you're hit in the core. So yeah, that is the basic concept. Now you could just armor around, redirect away from the pilot seat, maybe split up the connections here and here if you want or you could just basically fill all this stuff up with blocks and try to cover up the top in case of a uh, plasma fire but that is the basics of this build and it's already functional And that is basically how this bot works. So go ahead and build your own because I am not holding your hand on this one.